Developing now, state police are investigating a deadly traffic stop in Dearborn. A woman was shot and killed by a police officer outside of Fairlane Town Center yesterday. And a 7 Action News reporter, Tara Edwards, explains this is the second officer involved shooting in the past month. Right after the incident happened, state police were called to the scene and Dearborn police say in the name of transparency, state police have taken over the investigation. It all started when a security guard approached a 31 year old woman around 430 Wednesday at the Fairlane Town Center. And there were some different descriptions as far as how this person was acting, either belligerent or disabled or, or disoriented. State police say the woman ran outside into her car after the security guard approached her. When the security guards from the Fairlane Town Center tried to approach her, she ran outside, uh, got in one of her vehicles, uh, got in a vehicle, a Chevy HHR. Uh, as the security officer tried to stop her, um, she almost ran him over. Uh, they got in one of their vehicles and tried to kind of stop her as well. Um, she almost struck one of those vehicles. Once Dearborn police got to the scene, state police tell us Dearborn officers tried to make a traffic stop, but the woman almost ran over an officer. Several shots were fired. The woman, identified as Janet Wilson, was killed. It's the second Dearborn officer involved shooting that resulted in a civilian dying since December. And it has the Detroit Coalition Against Police Brutality demanding answers. Chief of Dad has lost control of his department. Whenever you have two people killed, in less than 40 days, that means that you, you're not capable of managing your department. Dearborn police have released a statement saying they are saddened by both incidents and that the cases are being investigated by independent agencies. The investigation is expected to take weeks after lab results come in. At that time, all the findings will be taken to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office, who will make the ultimate decision. At the State Police Post in Oak Park, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.